Hey underwater photographers, this is Rand from Mosaic Underwater Cameras and we are on day 14, the last day of the Redive project. Just to remind you, the Redive project is a, uh, an Instagram challenge that we've initiated in order to promote the diving industry and share our love with the ocean where we're inviting photographers from all over the world to share their amazing underwater photos one subject at a time. And just like every other day, I will be giving you my tips on how to shoot uh, better photos of the daily subject. All of these tips will be united into the ultimate guide to shooting marine life underwater which will be posted on our blog at Mosaic Underwater Cameras. It's already live so you can check out the rest of the tips that I've been giving throughout the last uh, couple of weeks. And for today, July 14th, our theme for today is turtles, one of our really, probably one of my, my favorite subjects and probably everybody's favorite subject because really everybody loves turtles, they're amazing. Uh, I call them Zen masters. I mean, that's one of the things that are so incredible about them. They're just super chill all the time. They're incredible. Uh, it seems like nothing can really rattle them. So yeah, it's really fun to shoot them. So let's see how we can get better photos of turtles. My first tip, and I've said this before with other uh, types of marine life, is that when you spot a turtle, do not swim directly towards it try to swim around it. Now it is true that uh, turtles are a lot more docile than other uh, marine life and they actually don't mind divers that much so you can actually approach them without a problem but it is always better especially if the turtle is kind of free swimming and he has no reason to stay put so he might as well change his course if a diver is coming right at him. Um, so if you two see a turtle swimming then try to go around it and you can see in this photo the rest of the group is kind of behind the turtle because they were swimming right towards him and I was swimming around them so I got a really nice uh, shot of his profile. Um, if a turtle is kind of munching on the reef and not moving too much it's not that bad to approach him directly because as I said they're very docile they don't mind divers and you can probably approach them without a problem. The next thing is don't shoot turtles from above, okay? So when you're diving a reef and you see a turtle down below, if you take that photo, it's going to be boring. Trust me, it's not going to look good. It's going to be, you know, a very weak composition and you're going to get a really bad background with all the coral reef just, you know, immediately behind the turtle. So it just doesn't look good. What you want to try and do is either shoot from eye level, which is always, you know, always the right thing to do with uh, any type of marine life, but also you can try shooting from below, so try to get underneath the turtle and get a really nice shot of uh, its belly, which always has better contrast on the surface and looks a whole lot better than shooting from above. Another thing is that turtles eat quite a lot and they would munch on the coral, they would munch on anemone or sponges, and when you capture that in action, when they're actually biting, you're gonna see, you're gonna get a really dramatic shot and a really nice pose, so try to find them while they're eating and try to wait for the bite and then sometimes they have really strong beaks so sometimes you would see them actually like ripping off a sponge or something like that and lots of pieces you know are coming out uh, and then sometimes other fish like wrasse and maybe um, angelfish would come and actually bite on the on the leftovers so this is a really beautiful scene to shoot and try to just look for turtles that are eating currently eating and try to wait for the moment that they bite now, the cool fact that it's not always true, but in most cases, when a turtle goes up for air, it would usually come back down to the same spot. All right, so if you do, you know, take some photos of a turtle and then suddenly it goes up for air, then maybe it's wise to just hang out, hang in there for a second, um, and maybe wait for the turtle to come back. And a lot of times it will come back energized for a second photo shoot and then you'll get uh, more opportunities to get a nice shot of it. Now another thing is if you're stuck with a macro lens, if you went on a dive with a macro lens or if you simply want to try something different, then you don't necessarily have to shoot a wide angle shot of the turtle, you can actually shoot a really nice close-up of its eye because that looks really really good. So one option is shooting the eye which has a lot of texture, another option is to shoot like a frontal image of like a portrait directly from the front that could look good. You can also just shoot the, the shell which has really nice texture and that alone could be a really nice photo. So there's a lot of options even without a wide angle lens to shoot a cool photo of a turtle. Now my last tip is the fin or leg whatever you want to call it. So their fin position is actually very important because if you wait for the fin to kind of go all the way up or all the way down 
you're gonna get a much nicer shot overall. It's a much more dramatic pose of the turtle rather than just having it, you know, with its fins to the side, which is not as interesting. You do have to make sure it's not, uh, it's not on their face, so you can actually see their face and it's visible, but you do want to try and capture the fin all the way up, all the way down in some sort of more dramatic pose rather than just on the sides. So that is it. Oh my god, this is it for the Redive project and we are on the last day. So it's been a pretty amazing couple of weeks and we have had hundreds of photos that were shared with the hashtag Redive project. So I would just like to take a moment and thank everybody that have participated in this challenge. It's been amazing to see all of your photos and to see all the love that you have for the ocean. And I do hope that these tips that I gave you on a regular basis will help you on your future dive trips to get much nicer photos of all of the subjects that we've spoken about. So yeah, it's been amazing. Thank you guys so much. And I hope to see you guys on one of our underwater photography workshops that we are running to different destinations around the world. And then I can actually dive with you in a person and maybe give you some of those tips in real time. Take care.